What's up mga kap and welcome to our Tuesday tutorial. On this video, I'm going to share to you the NNAUS process or the National Nursing Assessment Service. So the common question that we received from our community Pinoy Canada Immigration Forum is what is NNAS? When do we need NNAS? And how to uh, how to sign up an, an NNAS application? When do we need this um, NNAS? So these are the common questions that we receive about the NNAS. On this video, on this Tuesday tutorial, I'm going to share to you my screen on how to sign up for NNAS and I'm going also going to share my experience with the NNAS. So let's begin. So the first thing that you need to remember when applying for NNAS, this are this this NNAS for registered nurse. For if you're a registered nurse back home in the Philippines or from from your country, um, NNA is is a requirement um, before you apply for registration. So if you are a registered nurse back home or you're a registered nurse in the Philippines or in 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 India and you want to practice your profession as a registered nurse in Canada, the first step is the NNAS. So what? Why do we need an NAS? What is the purpose of the NAS? The NAS is an assessment body. So this is an organization. Their purpose is to assess. Assess your work experience, your education, your license, and your job. So they were going to evaluate, they were going to quantify and weigh the Canadian level. So if, if your Canadian, uh, if your work experience is equivalent to Canadian, they will going to give the advices or advice, advisory report. So when you start your application with NNAS, your goal is to get the advisory report. So to easily understand, you will go to the NNAS, submit all the required documents, and wait for their advisory report. So once you have the advisory report, you will bring this advisory report to your regulate, uh, regulatory body. So regulatory body, every province, they have different regulation with the registered nurses. So in the, in the Philippines, there's only one regulatory body for nurses. It's only the PRC or the Philippine Regulatory Commission. But in Canada, every province, they have their own regulatory body here in nova scotia they nova scotia they have their own new brunswick they have their own new Bru um ontario etc cetera, et cetera. they have their own regulatory body. so please check their requirements um for their requirements for nursing however wherever you are wherever you want to go in canada nnes is one of the requirement of the most of nursing regulatory bodies. So let's go to the NNAS. So you can see, you can go to the NNAS website. It's nnas.ca. So the application process is very simple. If you go to their website, the first thing that you need to do is you need to create an account. The second is you need to submit your proof of identity documents. So based on my experience, because if you don't know, Macau, I'm also a registered nurse back home. So based from my experience, um, the sub submitted docu documents or proof, proof of identity, I submitted my passport, my, P, uh, my driver license in Canada because I processed this proof of identity when I was in Canada. I, I remember I went to the lawyer to notarize the proof of identity so i presented my prc uh, sorry my passport my prc id my driver license here in canada and the lawyer here in canada they signed the paper and they gave me a notarized letter saying that 
this, all the documents that they sent me there are all authentic or authentic. So I think it costs eighty dollars in here. I, also, I think it's eighty dollars just to have a signature of lawyer. Submit a nursing education. It's very easy, mga kap, because when submitting the document, submit from education is you just need to go to your school. You need to create an account, download the forms, and you will ask your registrar to fill up the forms and attach all required documents. Submit a nursing registration. If you're in the Philippines, you just need to go to your ERC or to a regulatory body in your country. So the step number four is you need to download the forms. You go to your regulatory body and ask them to sign. In the case that you are in the Philippines, you need to download the form, go to the PRC and ask them to sign the papers and then at the same time seal it. You, they need to seal it and they need to signature the envelope. Nursing, submit your nursing practice and employment. There's another form that you can download from the account. So download the forms, give it to your supervisor, give it to your chief nurse, give it to your HR, whoever gives you the experience and they need to sign and you need to compute also the hours of experience. And of course, always remember the NNAS, they need to have your language test. The language test, there's, there's a confusion because if you are a registered nurse and you want to practice your profession as a nurse in Canada, you need to take an IELTS academic. So if you're processing your immigration, you need to process your general training. So the question now is, I need to take two IELTS in my Canada application if I'm a registered nurse. Looks like yes. So what is the required score for the NNAS? Let's be, let's make this screen bigger. So for the language test, you need to have an academic format. And your score should be the speaking is 7, listening is 7.5, your reading is 6.5, your writing is 7, and overall 7 academic format. So if you're thinking about Selbon, um, your score should be 10 in listening, speaking will be 8, and your reading will be 8, and writing will be 7. So if you're going to ask me which one is better, which one is the easier, so it depends on you. The IELTS, even I know academics is difficult. Difficult, it's challenging. Some is difficult also. Um, it's challenging also because uh, they have different format. But in terms of discussion, in terms of topic, I will prefer Saban. Why Saban, sir? Because Saban, most of the topic for Saban are nursing. So for writing, to give you an idea, in Selban, you need to write um, an incident report. So the question is, uh, the situation is, your patient um, was uh, reported that uh, your, your resident is bleeding. So you need to create a report. Or your resident is complaining of pain and suddenly faint or suddenly passed out. So you need to create a report. So those are the scenario for writing in Selban. So to give you an idea, Selban is more on nursing topics. So some so some of the topics in the question uh, in the speaking is about endorsement. Some topics on listening is there is two people endorsing each other, and you will be asked on the questioners. So. Selban is more on nursing uh, really, uh, nursing topics on exam. For IELTS, it's anything under the sun. Maybe they'll discuss about politics, tourism, etc., etc., etc. So it's up to you which one you're comfortable, but both of them are challenging. But you can do it. I know you can do it. So again, with the nurse, submit your nursing employment. We go back to nursing employment. When you submit, your experience make sure that you properly compute the number of hours and make sure that it is completed by employer means that the envelope that they completed needs to be sealed so if you have experience with west or your eka it's the same process so you need to make sure that the envelope are sealed 
with a signature and it should be put some masking tape or uh, the plastic, the plastic scotch tape or masking tape, sorry. Yeah, the masking tape. So um, the same thing with the uh, registration. If you're in the Philippines, it will be PRC um, and that's it. So these are the step-by-step -step process. So if you have a question about the NNAES, feel free to comment it below. And if you want me to discuss more further on how to sign up the NNAS, please feel free to message me or comment it below. Another common question, how can I pay uh, the NNAS? They take cash, West U Western Union. For me, my uh, mga cup is I would recommend um, to secure a credit card because the credit card is the easiest way to pay the ECA to pay NNAS because they are all online. So for me, if you can, um, if it's possible to get a credit card, it's much better. Again, it's your option because there's a different method. But for me, what my, my experience, my experience with NNAS is I paid through the credit card because it's easier. You just, you just type the number and then that's it. So, and again, if you have a question, you just call their customer service um, I greatly appreciate the toll-free call, call number. So use, try to use, try to utilize this um, toll-free uh, toll information. So if you're in the Philippines, just dial these numbers. I think it's not um, international call because it's toll-free. So just call them. If you have a question, they definitely um, answer your question. But before you ask question to them, make sure that you read the frequently asked question because most of the informations are already here. And again, if you have a question, feel free to comment it below on on this video. On this video. So again, mga kap, again, it's me, Joey Moreno of When in Halifax. If you find it helpful, please like, share, and subscribe to our When in Halifax. And of course, join our support group. It's Pinoy Canada Immigration Forum. And if you have a question about immigration and you want to to verify something or you have increased join us every saturday manila time we have a live streaming with miss amelia of adjunct international and mga cops thank you very much see you again in our next slide bye bye